Good morning, Americans and humans. This is your favorite alien. On the morning of Friday, April 26th, 2022, stand by for a special conversation. I've been harping at you for the last four years on your stupidity of being a human race. And finally, a human is doing the job for me, which is good news and bad news. Because, as you would say in your human terms, <gasps> too little, too late. Last night, the Sci-Fi Channel, yes, the Sci-Fi Channel, had a special program with a guy named Bill Nye, N-Y-E. Now, Mr. Nye is trying to scare the bejeebers out of you guys, which he won't do. But let me add some stuff to the program that he did last night. It's supposed to be a hypothetical. He's doing a series of programs. So I would advise you to watch the next five. Tomorrow, today, tomorrow, uh, Monday, Tuesday, I believe. Because it's a series of six. It starts at 10 p.m. on the Sci-Fi Channel. And then those of you that watched last night, they came pretty close to what you're going to experience. Okay? Even though they were hypothetical. And let me uh, change the situation there a little bit. The name that was used on the report of August 31st, 2064, by the European Alliance, was Hypercanes, is the name they used. Hypercanes. And in this hypothetical program, there was four that attacked you at once, and the U.S. was still in business. One strike. The U.S. disintegrates in October of 2024, so there is no more U.S. They didn't give you the year, but they made it like four of those things attacked at once. And as Mr. Nye in the program put it, there was millions of dead. Well, yeah, they will be. And there'll be more than four. The Europeans in their report of August 31st, 2064, did not mention how many. So I can't give you that per history, but I can give you two. Okay. The first hyper keen to hit the U what was the United States hits the Louisiana coast on August twenty fifth, two thousand and twenty six, and it goes up the Mississippi all the way to St. Louis, damaging everything in its path for. 300 miles, 150 miles either side of the Mississippi, all the way up. So you can imagine how many square miles that is. Ooh, that's a big swab of what used to be the United States that gets pummeled by this thing. Because it's got a, a hundred and a 300 miles either side swath. And that's if it wins. And the one that attacks you in 2026 has sustained winds of 267 miles per hour and gusts of 312, okay? And the most powerful one that the uh, European Alliance mentions happens on July 16th, 2050. And that one has sustained winds of 487 miles an hour, a swath of 250 miles. Can you imagine 125 miles either side of this center thing, 250 miles swath, and a 400 mile long disaster storm? That's a disaster and sustain winds 
of uh, 367, so they say, gust of 502, okay? Or 467, mind you, 467. Sustained winds of 467 and gust of 502 is what the report said. Can I remember my memory? So you see, Mr. Nye wasn't exactly off point. He was just, he doesn't know history, but he came close. I mean, his program is close. So watch that first show last night. And if his other shows are as good as that first one, I'll tell you what he says and what the actual history is. But finally, a human being that actually is trying to get some senses into you and scare you the bejeebers out of you so you can change your stupid watermelon brains and go to the right way. And there's a lot more to do. He hasn't got to the good points yet. I hope he does in the next shows. Well, you got to change the way you do business, change your capitalism, your communism, and your politics. Get rid of religion. Don't get rid of faith. Religion and faith are not the same. Faith was given to you by your creator. Religion was provided to you by other human beings. So I would take the faith like we have in mind. We don't know who our creator was. Will we meet him? Maybe, maybe not. But he gave us the will, the free will to do as we needed to do, not as we wanted to do, okay? And that's what you got to understand. You have the free will to help you out. You don't have the free will to go and do what the hell you want. That is not what he meant. This is your favorite alien saying, finally, they put together a few people that know what they want to do, and those guys should be commended at the Sci-Fi Channel for doing this. But it's a little too late, too little, too late. The human race will still be extinct, Mr. Nye, if you can hear me there from the Sci-Fi Channel. I tip my hat on what you're trying to do, but too little, too late. 